cutting down on sugar in your diet can be challenging. It's found in so many foods and sugar cravings can be tough to control. In this video, I'll share top 10 tips for reducing sugar intake. But before we begin, I need to clarify two things. First, this video focuses on reducing added sugar, not the natural sugars found in whole foods. So, we'll discuss cutting back on sugar in items like breakfast cereals, processed foods, snacks and candies, nut and fruits and vegetables like tomatoes, carrots, apples and oranges. Natural sugars in whole foods aren't a concern because they come with fiber and essential vitamins and minerals. The real issue is with added sugar. How much added sugar should you consume daily? The World Health Organization or WHO had set a limit of 50 grams per day and recommends staying below in that amount. To put this into perspective, a single can of soda contains about 40 grams of sugar which doesn't leave much room for additional sugar intake. For maximum health benefits, it's recommended to keep your added sugar intake below 25 grams per day. Now that you understand the guidelines, let's get into the tips. Tip number 1. Read the labels on all your processed foods. While I'm not a big fan of processed foods and prefer whole foods, sometimes processed foods are unavoidable. To ensure you're not consuming too much sugar, always check the labels on these products. The ingredients list on food packaging shows all the ingredients used to make the food listed from most to least. Check this list for names that indicate the presence of sugar. The challenge is that sugar can go by many names, about 60 different ones. The most common terms to watch for are sugar and syrup like brown rice syrup or malt syrup and ingredients ending in O such as glucose, fructose, and dextrose. Avoid foods with a lot of these sugars. Tip number 2. Eat more whole foods. Whole foods are foods in their natural, unprocessed form such as fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. These foods come directly from nature and are minimally altered, meaning they don't contain added sugars or other artificial ingredients commonly found in processed foods. By focusing on a diet rich in whole foods, you automatically reduce your sugar intake because these foods provide natural, wholesome nutrition without the hidden sugars often present in processed items. Fruits and vegetables offer essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber that support overall health. Legumes such as beans and lentils are excellent sources of protein and fiber, helping to keep you full and satisfied. All greens like quinoa, brown rice, and oats provide sustained energy and are packed with nutrients. Nuts and seeds deliver healthy fats, protein, and a variety of important nutrients that contribute to heart health and overall well-being. Tip number 3. Try not to drink your calories. One of the easiest ways to consume too much sugar is through beverages as it doesn't feel like you're consuming a lot and it's easy to overdo it. Be mindful of the sugar content in drinks. Whenever possible, opt for unsweetened beverages, especially when visiting a cafe. If you're buying bottled beverages, remember to read the labels as I mentioned in point number one. Avoid consuming all your calories from sugary drinks. Tip number four, don't get carried away with natural sweeteners. It's a lesson we learned the hard way. When transitioning from a high sugar diet to a low sugar one, we turn to natural sweeteners like coconut sugar, maple syrup, honey, and brown rice syrup. However, we found ourselves developing a natural sugar addiction which was just as problematic as our previous white sugar habit. While natural sugars can have a place in our diet, they are highly concentrated and lack the nutritional benefits of fresh fruits. It's essential to use them sparingly and prioritize whole, nutrient-rich foods for sweetness and overall health. Tip number 5. Eat more protein. Without eating enough protein in your meal, your blood sugar levels can fluctuate, leading to sugar cravings. For example, if you have a sugary breakfast cereal with a little milk at 7.30 a.m., you might feel hungry again by 10.30 a.m. This happens because the cereal lacks protein and contains too much sugar, causing spike and then a dip in your blood sugar levels. To prevent this, include at least 15 to 20 grams of protein in each meal to stabilize your blood sugar and reduce cravings. Tip number 6. Eat more fat. 
Similar to protein, incorporating enough fat into your meals helps keep your blood sugar levels stable and keeps you feeling fuller for longer, reducing sugar cravings. So I recommend getting your fats from whole food sources rather than oils. Whole foods provide more nutritional value. For example, compare avocado oil into avocados. Avocado oil is purely fat whereas avocados contain vitamins B, K, E, and fiber. Eating actual avocados give you a lot more nutrients. Try to include whole food sources of fat in your meals such as avocados, nuts, seeds, and coconut and limit your intake of oils. Tip number 7. Remove temptation. If you have sugary snacks in your cupboard, you're more likely to eat them simply because they're there. Keeping sugary snacks out of your home can help you avoid them. It's unlikely you'll go out of your way to get them if they're not easily accessible. Tip number 8. Keep low sugar snacks around to enjoy. Just because you avoid sugary snacks doesn't mean you can't have a tasty treat. Keep low sugar snacks at home like freshly cut fruit in your fridge. For something a bit different, try frozen grapes. Their natural sweet and freezing them gives them a unique and enjoyable texture. Another great low sugar snack idea is frozen bananas. You can make frozen banana popsicles by taking a ripe banana, peeling it, and inserting a popsicle stick if you have one, though it's not necessary. Freezing the banana for 24 hours or until it hardens. When you get a sugar craving, take the frozen banana, dip it in a bit of melted dark chocolate, and sprinkle some shredded coconut on top. This treat combines fruit, healthy fat from coconut, and dark chocolate, making for a delicious and satisfying snack. Tip number 9. Don't use sugar to relieve stress. While sugar can temporarily reduce stress, it's not a long-term solution. Over the years, I've learned that the best way to manage stress isn't through food or sugar but through other methods like meditation, yoga, walking in the park, or taking a bubble bath. Tip number 10. Never say never. A strict, all-or-nothing approach to sugar isn't sustainable in the long run. Life is about finding balance. I'm not advocating for sugar in moderation as it can be hard way to stay within those limits but having sugar occasionally for special occasions is okay. For example, if it's your grandma's 90th birthday and she bake a cake, enjoy a slice. It's a special moment worth indulging in. You don't have to eat the whole cake, sharing is always an option. Allow yourself these occasional treats to maintain a balanced approach to nutrition. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.